Hey there, my name is Nate and I hope you're doing wonderful. If you need some help with your storyline project, a bug, a thorough review, jump over to storyaudit.eu and let's connect. Now let's jump straight in and let me share this glorious hidden masking trick that almost nobody knows about. Right, here's my slide. I have a button. Uh, I have an object here, another object here. And what I'm going to do now is change this fill to slide background fill. Now what is that? It's more or less what the name says. Now this object has the background, has the fill of the background. So my background here is this picture and which means that now this is like a window into the background. So let me move it here and you can see it just cuts into the object. And now this can produce many different effects, you know, you need to use some imagination and you can create custom masking effects and I'm going to show you some examples here and you know, a lot of things can open up. So this is how this trick works. And of course, I know maybe you're thinking, yeah, I can just cut this in Photoshop. Yes, you can, like an animal. And then later, maybe you have to move the, the masking part to another part of the image and then you have to cut again and cut again. So you don't want to do that. You just use this fill. So I'm going to remove now this object and let me just put this one right on the edge and give you the first example. So let's say here I have a nice hover effect with an animated part. It says click here. It's like a little hint. So I'm going to put this right next to the, where is it, to the, to the edge of the mask like that. And if we preview this, that object's going to fly in, but you won't be able to see it because it's masked out by this object here. So if I do this, you see what happens. Uh -huh, I see I have some states here. That's why the, there was a mouse uh, cursor over it, a mouse hand cursor. Okay, this is the first example. Simple thing. Here's another thing we could do. We ha I have two masking uh, boxes, left and right, and some other things fly in. And then you could create an effect like this. You know, it just... In this effect here, it feels like the, 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 the girl, the image of the girl came in the part of the, like it was inside the black, the black object. But, you know, in truth, it was just one object over the other, some masking things there, and that's it. Now, of course, the great thing is you can have different shapes. You can just play around with whatever you need to mask out. So here, for example, I'm using two circles or ellipsis, I should say, and but I'm also using the line, uh, so line color, I have a black, a few, a few points, and fill is slight background fill. Now again, similar effect to the previous one, but now we have the, you know, I have also some wipe animation, you know, it's like, like you would create a window inside that you can then show something in. Uh, next one, so here I have a, you can, you know, you can draw a shape with the shape thingy. What is this? Freeform. <laughs> and this one looks like this. So I was masking the, 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 the mountains and here I have a text that's going to appear. It's going to fly in. So this could look like this. No, it feels like it came behind the mountains. All we're doing is hiding where the copacetic can be shown. So another one. Now, uh, while playing around with this effect, the thing is, once you have a mask, you cannot manipulate it later. So you cannot drag and drop and have the shape change the background. That doesn't work. I tried that, you know, like to have a peephole or something to, to, to look around like a binocular effect. That doesn't work. But, you know, if life gives you lemons, then you go make gin tonic. So here's what I've done. This is the shape. So I masked out this, uh, the, the house and some of the um, thingy around. 
and like I said, it's not gonna when you when you manip manipulate now this object, it's not gonna uh, keep changing with the background. So it keeps the shape that it was, so the background that it was uh, originally. So what I've done here, I've taken that and I have uh, also added some black background. So this was now stand out and then I added grow effect and some motion path, you know, to have a nice Ken Burns effect if you've seen one of my own LinkedIn posts. And now this creates an effect like this. You know, the background fades, this, this grows. Now, of course, it all depends on the quality of the image, but that's another thing where you could make objects stand out and, you know, explain what's happening. One more. So here you could, maybe you could have a drag and drop interaction where you unhide things that are in the background. So this circle, uh, or actually this circle is gonna change to slight background when I drop it. And you take a look at what's behind. Now that's another, you know, thing you could do. Just a small asterisk here. I was trying this with multiple objects, but they kept changing to the same background, like with the latest object or something. So it's not perfect, but you can achieve at least one opening. And then of course I had to go nuts and I was trying to get those to get that binocular effect just like like you were peeking through something. Uh, and it's not perfect. So I was the thing is yeah, it does change with some delay because in the background I keep changing the states to some, I don't know, normal hidden, normal two, hidden, whatever. And it sort of does work, but not really. So I'm not happy with this, but I just wanted to show you what I came up with and what are the limitations here. So there you go. This concludes our fantastic masking trick video. If you'd like to support more videos in the future, I would love it if you could buy me coffee. There's a link down below. I love a nice cappuccino. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.